I'm in Washington, D.C., just a couple miles down the road from the White House where anti-refugee policy is being written. But here, this little falafel shop was started to help refugees. I think falafel and food in general is the ultimate equalizer. And I want to use falafel to show the world that refugees are real. This is a food that they're forced to eat because they're poor and they don't have opportunities. Falafel Inc. opened just three months ago, but it's quickly become one of the hottest lunch spots in the upscale Georgetown neighborhood. At only three bucks for a falafel sandwich, their prices are hard to beat. And so is their mission. For every dollar in revenue we take in, we donate a portion of that back to the World Food Program, who then deploys it to refugees around the world. So with every meal that's purchased in our restaurant, one day's worth of food is given to a refugee. Ahmed Ashkar is a Palestinian-American entrepreneur and founder of Falafel Inc. What surprised me most uh, since we've opened Falafel Inc., which has only been about 90 days, is the community's warm embracement of our product, our culture, and our mission. There's another mission that's just as important to him, and that's preserving his Palestinian cultural heritage. It's our food, the falafel, the hummus, it's our heritage as Palestinian, and it's very important to me that the world understands that. And one of the missions of Falafel Inc. is to revitalize falafel as a Palestinian food. He swears his stuff is the real deal. Honestly, our food's the bomb. I would take our falafel, hummus, uh, tabbouleh, salatat, over, frankly, anyone's in America, and as good as those that you'd get in Amman or Palestine. But these are all my Tata's recipes. Tata means? Uh, grandma. Customers I talk to vouched for the authenticity. Whenever I feel like I want a taste of home, and I want to like taste my seeds or my mama's cooking, I come here, because that's the closest thing I found in all of DC. So people ask me all the time, like, how do you make falafel ink taste so authentic? And the falafel just like back home. And it's basic, we have back home equipment. Equipment like this falafel wok, which was imported from a Palestinian refugee camp in Gaza. I've never fried falafel before. But you're too, you're too low. Oh, you're too low. Alright, empty it. What are you doing? Watch, watch, watch. Watch, watch, let me show you. You gotta, you gotta skim, you gotta skim, right? It's really hot back there, by the way. Yeah, so I think about the temperature of people in refugee camps when it's hot in summer. You know, frying falafel not because we're having fun, but because it's a means to survival. Falafel Inc.'s motto is eat with dignity. Part of our business model is to literally hire, recruit, train, and scale up refugees. Sulema is the kind of employee Ahmed likes hiring. Economic insecurity and violence in her home country of Honduras drove her to leave for the U.S. last year in search of a better and safer life. Qué bueno que, que yo pueda trabajar en un restaurante donde ayuda a los refugiados, donde que sé que son personas que de verdad necesitan la ayuda. Y para mí es una satisfacción, tanto como digo en lo personal, por, por colaborar con, con restaurantes como es para la joya. Es un orgullo. While we were filming, the Trump administration announced that it's lowering the number of refugees that'll be allowed to enter the U.S. next year to no more than 45,000. That's the lowest cap in decades. So our refugee definition goes beyond those that are just fleeing war. We look at people who are seeking better economic opportunity. Also climate change. You've seen the disasters which have happened with the hurricanes just over in the last week or two. Is President Trump welcome here at Falafel Inc.? Everyone is welcome at Falafel Inc. Hey guys, it's Dina and the food at Falafel Inc. was really good and their mission to help refugees is incredible. I covered the refugee crisis in Europe in 2015 and earlier this year. You can check out those videos and be sure to like, comment and share and subscribe.